Morning everybody. Bed is here, feeling rough as hell, but hey. Right, so I'm making an apple crumble and homemade custard for pudding this afternoon. So I'm gonna start doing this first. I'll show you the ingredients. Right, so for the custard, some double cream, 100 millilitres of milk, two eggs, it'll be the yolks, some vanilla extract and a bit of corn flour, which will make a corn flour slurry. Um, for the topping, some brown sugar, plain flour, a very small amount of porridge oats, demerara sugar, and then for the filling, obviously apples and about 55 grams of butter. So there's a second and I'll start cracking on with it. Right, so I've sliced my apples up, put in the brown sugar and a bit of water at the bottom. I was going to put some cinnamon in, but I can't find any, so there's a little bit of water in the bottom there. This will get mixed down and cooked um, to make the, the crumble filling. Right, so there's 85 grams of plain flour gone in there and about 55 grams of the brown sugar. And now I'm going to slice the butter, cold butter, into here. There's about 55 grams worth of cold butter. So I'm just slicing it in without slicing my finger off. of it there. And now you just get your hands in. I'm gonna do it by hand rather than the food processor. Yeah it's only a little bit anyway isn't it? That's so what I'm saying. Not worth getting it down for that little bit. Right, it's a long while since I've done <laughs> anything like this. And you just keep rubbing this in till basically you get like a breadcrumb consistency so I think I'll keep working this and come back to you when it's a bit closer to how it's supposed to be right so that's look how good that looks that's the apples cooked down so that's going to go in the dish that I'm going to use I'll cut it's only a small one because I did say sick of having tons of leftovers and it's like, this, just feel like I'm having an overload of food. So it's a smaller portion. A lot smaller portion. Just flatten that out. Get it spread over. That's just about right for us too, that, isn't it? Yeah. There'll be no wastage. So, we'll just let that cool down before I put the topping on and I'll come back when it's uh, in about 10-15 minutes when it's cooled down. Right so we're going to crack on with the custard so it's just some fresh double cream 300 mils the whole lot's going in. Yes that's a bit calorific but hey uh oh uh oh uh, uh. messy me and then there's 100 millilitres of milk. And we'll just bring that up to the boil. Or bring it up in temperature. So it's warmed up. Vanilla extract. I think that goes in now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Is this the stuff you don't use much of? You can use about a teaspoon. Right. I can do that'll do. That'll do it. Lovely. Right, let's give that a stir. So we're just warming this up, you don't we don't really want it boiling, do you? No. As such. Just like underneath the boil. Yeah. It starts to bubble around. So we'll it's... come back when it's a bit closer. It's just started off. Right, so tablespoon of brown sugar again a 
Uh, that's half teaspoon. One of a teaspoon. Teaspoon of corn flour. And <coughs> two eggs. Egg yolk, sorry, not two eggs. And bring this together. Still nowhere near that, is it? Starting. So this goes into the into the liquid mixture eventually when it's a bit closer to turn paling. Alright, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this into here. Just to quickly whisk that up. And then this goes into the that's it I think. And then this goes back into here. Get the last of this out. starting to thicken up you can see already it's starting to come up now smells nice I think that's not far off now is it? yeah I think that's a bit done right so what I'll do is um, I'll just turn this off Put some cling film over the top so it doesn't form a skin and that's my custard done okay so it's time to put a topping this topping onto the crumble onto the apple mixture so there we go basically just nicely spread this out Sure, it's pretty even. Which it looks, looks good to me. Press it down a little bit. Right. So, on top of this, I have to get this out. Scissors. Need a tablespoon of demerara sugar to go on the top. Oops. I just even as you can get it. And a tablespoon of rolled oats. So we'll put all that porridge oats. Just to go on top of here, but I'm sure it'll get used for something else. I'd say, do you know what it is? I might put a little bit more than now. Might put two on. Okay, so basically that's it done, ready to go in the oven. So it'll go about 170 fan for about 35 to 40 minutes, and we'll do that later on. Um, well, man does the uh, the dinner, so I'll catch you later, guys. See you soon. Right, it's pudding time. Into the oven, one seventy. That's uh, fan, and that's going to go in there 
for about 30 minutes so that we'll come back when it's done and warm the custard up. Right. Right, it's out the oven and it smells rather nice. So, just wait for this custard to come up and reheat. It's all right, that doesn't it? it? Smells lovely. It does smell really nice, like toffee apples. Mm. I'm going to use a big spoon to get that out, I think. What do you think? Yeah. Right. Make sure I'm not going to burn myself. Yes. Just turn that down a little bit. While that's there. Okay, well, I'm going to have a decent portion, don't want you. I'll cut it down in half. I'm not going to have half, but I might be saying that it's not that deep, is it? Oh, okay, yeah, that's still sizzling. Right, so. The old Darth Vader's gloves. <laughs> Let's have a look. Looks like a lot of topping. Oh, that looks nice. Like, look at that, the apple in there. Mm. It's still sizzling in the bottom there. Like. Yeah. Are you having yours now as well? Yeah, I'll have half of that bit. Half of the half? Yeah. <laughs> right. Sprinkling of it. Oh yeah. It's a, I didn't want to do a big, I could have done a big massive one, but all, I, all I'm going to do is just continually eat it and I'm trying to cut back a little bit on stuff so although I can have it just cut back a little bit on it that's all. right so that's all right now turn that off so custard that. Yeah, mate. Is that enough? Yeah, that's plenty for me, thank you. I'm going to have a little bit more. Oop. <coughs> <coughs> Can't right. resist. What we'll do is we'll swap places and Nina will go in for a taste. Yeah. There we go. There it is. There we are. Apple crumble with homemade custard. It's gone like um, toffee-ish on the bottom, or it's slightly caught on the bottom. Apple's gone all golden and mm -hmm, lovely. But you burn your mouth. Wow. Wow, that's good. And that apple crumble for a long time. That is lovely, with the oats on the top, and the crumbles just crunchy, apples cooked, custards lovely, vanilla perfect. Mm. Mm. That's good, even if I say so myself, I'm quite impressed with myself, <laughs> actually made a decent pudding. Right, where are we going to go? Yeah, we're going to go relax because, yeah, um, I'm not feeling that great today, so I'm going to uh, get this and get these uploaded, watch me rugby this afternoon, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow, probably. So thanks for watching and subscribing, up to a thousand, thank you very much. Love it. So we will see you soon, guys. See you and later. Have a good, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye. Bye for now. Oh, oh, oh.
Oh, oh, oh.